What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sebs and today we're checking out Tommy Johansson again. Uh, we've seen him before in various ways. Sabaton was uh, one of the funnest bands for us to check out here on the channel. And um, we then checked out something that Tommy Johansson put on his uh, YouTube channel alone and unbelievable. A couple of weeks ago, Ali and I, who's my wife, uh, we do sometimes we do videos together. Someone jumped on our uh, on our live stream. They gave us a super chat and told us, this is Anessa Lynn, by the way, Anessa, thank you so much that we have to check this out. So let's do it. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thank you, Tommy Johansson, for putting out this music that inspires all of us. If you want to support this channel, check out the description down below. But more importantly, in the description down below are ways to support the original artists here and make sure you please uh, prioritize that. So Tommy Johansson's You Raise Me Up, the one octave challenge. Don't know what that means. You Raise Me Up, classic song. Let's uh, roll it. When I am down. Mm. No, he's not going to hit this. He's not going to hit this. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm already mad, bro. Okay, I want to give all the attention to the solo. Homie is one of the most talented people out there, isn't he? Beautiful keys, beautiful voice. I'm sure a lot of you and many of you already are aware and better with this stuff than I am. But to hit these notes and whatnot, he's, he's mixing his head voice and chest voice in a way that is just unbelievable. It's still soothing while he's hitting these astronomically high notes. I don't understand it. I haven't been able to sing like that since I was like 14, 15 years old. Homie's a grown man still hitting notes like that. So this is, you're raising me up one octave higher than the original. He says, it was mostly for fun, of course, but this really was a challenge and a different touch to one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Dude, metal artists are some of the most talented musicians out there. That's why growing up, I was so into like neoclassical metal. The musician, the musicianship is unbelievable. All right, we're gonna we we got his solo coming up, and again, this is what he's like known for. So let's let's roll it. Ugh. What guitar is that? Oh, yes. Earlier he went more falsetto. Here he's going full blown mixed voice, dude. And like it's nothing. <laughs> God! It's beautiful. Let's go, dude. What a great...
Nice. Run it back. Here he goes. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> Love that dude. <laughs> I love this guy. What I love about the metalfication of this is that he kept the beauty and the the beauty of the song was, you know, the focus. So that's just true class and musicianship there. The things that made the song beautiful, he kept. But then it's unbelievable to listen to. He posted this a year ago and man, wait, like almost two years ago. And it has 780,000 views. That must be that must be changed. We got to get this thing up to a million views as soon as possible. I wish I had the power to do that, but I, I I'm not that influential. But my goodness, man, what the heck was this? Yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely loved it, guys. What did you think? Comment down below. What makes that so? I mean, I, everything about it, dude, was great. And the fact that it's one man show here. I want to see a Dan Baskin, Tommy Johansson co collaboration, bro. I think that'd be a lot, lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you for clicking on this video and make sure to to show some love to, to the original here because homie deserves way more attention than he's getting. Much love, everybody. Till the next one.